my first Zamperla Valera credit. I don't know how this is gonna be. And that looks awesome. I got a steeplechase over there. That looks incredible. Steeplechase. Fun little ride. Kind of a forceful launch. Gracias. You guys like it? Is that right? Short. The beginning is good. I mm. like it. I like this, but not so much. Right. Yeah, the launch was surprisingly good, actually. And some of the little dips. I mean, it wasn't, I wouldn't really call it airtime, but it was like... It really feels like if you're riding a horse. Yeah. Yeah. Want to ride this? Yeah. You're not going to get on? Time to ride the Zambrilla Valair. This is a pretty big station. That's one cool, cool light bag. You celebrate a thousand followers today by hopping on a slingshot. I love you, but never again. Never, never again will I ride one. Never again build one, please. I have faith that you can make great rides because you make amazing flat rides. But that, let's see. I've been on a B and M flying coaster, best one. I've been on Nighthawk at uh, Carowinds, horrible. This was even worse. <laughs> like this was, wor and that's saying a lot. This was like, I mean, it hurt and it's jerky and it, it's just, ah. Uh. There's nothing I liked about that ride at all. Like the seating position is uncomfortable, the track profiling is uncomfortable. Yeah, if you guys come to Coney Island, go ahead and skip this thing unless you want the credit, but you'll regret it. Oh, <laughs> uh, that hurt. Soldiers hurt, everything hurt. What did you think of this? Yeah, it's a lot. Right here. Right here. All right? Yeah. What did you think of this? <laughs> no words for that. Oh. I will say the station loading process is fairly amusing.
Whatever. I'm gonna celebrate a thousand followers today by hopping on a slingshot. But somebody's riding it with me. Get them. <laughs> oh my. Uh, uh, what am I doing? <laughs> this is insane. It's... Yeah. Where is it? I can't even see it. It disappeared. Oh no, there it goes. Oh, what in the no, man. Yeah, what what is that? That's insanity. <laughs> I could do zoom and jar all day. This scares me. Like just looking at it scares me. I don't know. Oh, whatever. I might actually enjoy it, who knows? We'll see. Well, this isn't live. Yes or no? This isn't live. By then, oh no, everybody would say yes because I've posted so many times how much I don't like slingshots and sky coasters and star flyers. I'm still not riding the star flyer though. Maybe, maybe when I get a thousand followers on, on you, I mean a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'll ride the sky screamer. <laughs> Slingshot. I'll never do that again. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> huh? I mean, it's not as bad as it looks, but it's not exactly like. Like the, when it first takes off, it's kind of fun, but like for a second, and then. I believe you. He's trying to kill me. Take your phone. No, I wonder if, oh, they're not selling the videos, huh? I'm glad you survived. Pray for me, man. Pray for me. I mean, it's okay. It's just, like, honestly, I'd rather go on that than, you know. I don't know. It just, like, it, it just left me in the end, like, hugging the restraint. Like, I just want to get down. <laughs> yeah, but, I see, I like that feeling on a roller coaster. Like, I don't, like, roller coasters feel... Safe, I'm but it just, just feels sketchy God. to me, you know. But I would imagine that's what it's like launching on a rocket, like you know, like when you're just like on your back and yeah. But you made it. Yeah, I mean, if you don't like it, on the bright side, like the scary part's over after like 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh. Weightless, like being in space. No, nah, no, nah, that was weightless, like falling through the air towards death. <laughs> uh. But I did it! I thought I would do something cool for a thousand subs 
subscribers. Hopefully that's in the future. A thousand followers on Instagram. You guys are great. So I thought I would do something that I normally don't do. And that is something I will never, ever do it again. I only did it today because it was included with the wristband. So I was like, well, I might as well because it's sort of free, but not really. I don't know. I think it costs like 20 something dollars. I wouldn't pay 20 or 30 bucks to be that, that freaked out. But, you know, uh, I will admit, though, the going up part was fun. That was, that was quite a lot of fun. But the flipping and bouncing, I'm not a fan. But, yeah, anyway, I'm going to ride this crazy flat ride also looks pretty scary but I can't wait anyway catch you later oh it's too bad I don't get to film him, like screaming I know he's <laughs> he doesn't look like he's enjoying this one as much don't know its name but it was really cool it made me a little nauseous but it was fun and we didn't get too many flips and you get a really nice view from way up there <laughs> Bruno didn't cool. like it I didn't like it at all I don't <laughs> <laughs> not for me everyone else loved it did you love it yeah no so, uh, we need to see the uh, chicken <laughs> beach and the view of New York is great. I thought so too. That was great. So two didn't like it and two loved it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Huh? This place looks nice at night. That was one cool, cool light baggage. Ross Ride Thunderbolt.
Let's look for one. Thunderbolt. Like it? To shake it. I liked it. I like the, uh, <laughs> the layout. I like the layout. Um, it's kind of a freak coaster, but um, it's too shaky. It's yeah. Too shaky. yeah. It hurts everything. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. It's as it's as shaky as I've heard everyone say. I've noticed though. I rode in the middle seat the second time in the back, and it was a little smoother. But I was on the outside seat in the front the first time, and you can't even put your hands up. It throws you around so much. But it has some surprising uh, ejector at the end. It's like RMC like ejector at the end, and it's crazy. And I loved it. But um, yeah, it's not a bad ride, but it's not a, the greatest thing in the world. But you know, as far as Zamperla coasters go. I mean, I love their flat rides. I'm not the biggest fan of Zamperla coasters, but this is probably the best one I've been on, and I think it's a good step in the right direction. If they keep at it, I'm sure they'll start making ones just as great as Intamin or Gerslauer or Mock and all the others, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, what now? Off to Cyclone again? Yeah. Want to ride the spinning windmill of death again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what that ride's name is, so it's going to be called the Spinning One Mill of Death. <laughs> uh, I love the lights here. Oh, we're leaving, and this guy just ended up in my vlog. <laughs> Bye, people. Say goodbye to the internet. <laughs> Did you guys like Coney Island? Yeah. We liked it. Too. Um, they were rough. Rough rides, but they were they were good. They were good. Like Hear that, Zamperla? Yeah. <laughs> Your rides were rough. No, the flat rides were good, though, right? The flat rides were were very good. Yeah. I want to ride again to to that kind of crisanity. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come here. <laughs> huh? Come here. It says to people that oh they can, they should come. <laughs> yes, I think so. Yeah. I think this is great. Wait, are they still launching trains? I think so. Yeah. Oh no, we should go. Dude, we should totally ride rides still. They're open still. Why are they still open? They're supposed to close in like <laughs> 10. But yes, great park. I love riding a whole bunch of Zamperla stuff. Um, the coasters could use a little um, polishing. But no, all the coasters here are pretty good. Hey, no, I get that's a lie. Um, Soarin' Eagle was not good at all. Uh, but Cyclone, Thunderbolt, Steeple Chase, pretty fun. And uh, all the other rides here were great. Uh, Nathan's Hot Dogs, a little overrated, kind of expensive, but they do have gigantic beers for 850 compared to the Six Flags and Cedar Bear Park. And uh, let's see, what else? I don't know, it's nice. Boardwalk, nice boardwalk, nice beach. Uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel, not part of Luna Park. So you have to pay $10, $10 to ride this thing, which is insane. It's just a Ferris wheel. You also have to pay $10 to ride Cyclone or Thunderbolt. So you might as well get a wristband like we did. Uh, they're like 50 something and you get unlimited rides, a free slingshot ride and a, a free uh, ride on the go-karts. So I would recommend doing that if you're gonna come visit the park. Uh, but yeah, other than that, great place to come and check out. But uh, catch everyone later.
right guys that marks the end of this two-part coney island vlog series i enjoyed coney island very very much it's a fantastic little park that's owned and operated by zamperla luna park so there's plenty of zamperla rides we didn't even get to them all but we did a large majority of the ones that i know you thrill seekers are interested in and i hope you enjoyed watching this series as much as i enjoyed making it in any case if you enjoyed that video you know what to do go ahead and staple that like button leave a comment follow on facebook instagram and twitter and subscribe here on youtube sure means a lot to me goodbye internet thanks for watching